All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Wahavar Chakwadash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and Rechakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing the word in all truth and in all sincerity. And today I just want to get into a lesson on how these curses are really hitting Esau. And pretty much over the weekend I uh, ended up talking to two different Edomites. And the first one, the guy was telling me basically that he was $20,000 in debt um, because of the whole CV-19 situation. And uh, he ended up having to uh, max out credit cards. He can't, you know, find a uh, pretty much a real job anymore. Because from what the guy was telling me, he uh, used to work as like a um, sound man, uh, sound manager for like you know uh, uh, events. And you know he was making like a hundred grand a year. He said roughly, and that's all gone. And he hasn't found a real job. And pretty much this is what really made me laugh. He's uh pretty much living off of his uh new woman's um his uh, basically yeah, living off his new woman. All right, that he's known for a pretty long time, he said. But um yeah, pretty much you know, these Edomites, their uh their whole lifestyle is just a bunch of smoke and mirrors, okay? Cuz what was really funny is that the guy lived in a uh pretty uppity suburb out here in, in Chicago, okay, in the Chicagoland area, all right, it was called LaGrange, okay, and like I said, that, that's a area where you have a lot of, uh, you know, doctors, lawyers, um, you know, business owners, so on and so forth, you know, people that, you know, are well to do off, and this guy is just absolutely through, okay, then you had the, uh, the Edomite woman that I was talking to, and um, or I should say I was overhearing her conversation um, a little bit with her friends, and uh, pretty much she was saying that she couldn't even go on this vacation that she had planned because her friends were asking about it, and she you know, was talking about that, and she was actually saying that she might have to actually sell her house because she's $12,000 and then some in debt because of... Uh, how basically when she was following her taxes, something came up from previous years that hit her hard. All right. So like I said, hey, the, the, these Edomites, they're losing. And oh, I'll say this too. That woman, she lived in a um another uppity uh, Edomite area in the, you know, uh, in the Chicagoland area called Lamont. Okay. No, they, these are the homes where they got three stories. All right. You know, some, uh, you know, a good amount of land. You know, everybody, you know, has pretty much a, uh, you know, a foreign-made car. Okay? You see? But they, these are beautiful things. And i like to start off with this scripture here in the book of Sirach 25 and 7. And it reads here, There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that hath joy of his children... And he that is liveth to see the fall of his enemy. They, they these, these things should make you happy. Okay? You should be joyous when you see the downfall of your enemy. Okay? You know, I I, I was laughing in the inside when I was hearing this, especially the uh the male Edomite, because I was, you know, BSing with him, talking it up for about twenty almost thirty minutes with this guy. And um you know, you know, trying to make him feel better, and just, you know, like I said, I was just you know playing the role, so I can you know do my job and all that, and uh, yeah, man, they they they're hurting, man, and it makes you happy seeing that because, you know, these people they've been you know, living you know these um, they've been basically living in luxury for so long, off of the you know, the the backs of the Israel Israelites, okay, you know. 
And we, we, we've been, you know, at the bottom for so long. It's so beautiful seeing how these Edomites are crumbling now. All right? A lot of them are, you know, having marital issues, on drugs, have financial, you know, issues. And you're just seeing the collapse of their society. They're unhappy. They hate their lives. They hate their families. And these are beautiful things. Because really what's happening is the Lord, he's, um, let's get it real quick. He's starting to send these curses upon, you know, these Edomites now. That's a beautiful thing. Like I said, an Edomite that's $20,000 in debt can't get out of the hole. All right. <laughs> Ever since the, you know, the elites pushed that uh, CV-19 situation, right? Then all of a sudden, you know, good old Uncle Sam, all right, got the, the you know, the, uh, uh, you know, the, the Shedomite, okay, in debt. And now she's about to, you know, you know, take a hit. And now she can't, you know, um, keep up with the Joneses anymore. All right, as they say. And she was embarrassed to talk about it. You know, uh, her friends were in shock that was, and she wasn't going on the vacation. And then when they heard about the, uh, about um, about how she's got to sell their house, they 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 couldn't, they, they didn't even know what to say. You know, then it was real funny because the, the one the uh, one of her you know you know she to my friends, she was just talking about how <laughs> her family was doing good and how they're getting a bunch of money back from from their taxes. So it, 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 it's a funny thing, man. All right. And you know they're going to judge her off of that situation. All right. And then I'll say this. Hey, these Edomite males, hey, they, they, they might lose their goddamn mind and just shoot up the whole, you know, family. Have a uh, Chris Benoit situation. Okay? Well, you know, have a tri <laughs> tri triple murder suicide situation, you know? Next thing you know, you, you, you see it on the, you know, local news. Your five o'clock, you know, uh, news. All right, evening news. <laughs> but uh, let's get this. This is Deuteronomy thirty and seven, and it reads here: "And the Lord Yahweh, thy power, will put all these curses upon thy enemies, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee." And let's get some of these curses, okay? Let's get a uh, Deuteronomy twenty-eight. Let's go down a little bit. And uh, let's get this. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 16. It says here, Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. And that's what's happening. All right? Like I said, that one guy, you know, he, he doesn't matter where he was at. He was cursed. Oh, because he was telling me too that he used to live in the city. A, a pretty good part of, uh, of the, you know, uh, uh, of Chicago. And like I said, then he had to go move to the burbs. But this guy's all messed up. All right? This guy's just through. You know? Where does it say? Uh, uh, a curse be your... Uh, oh, yeah, well, let me keep reading. Curse shall be thy basket in thy store. You know, this guy, you know, in particular, that guy, he, he was barely making it. Barely had any, you know, food like that. And he was telling me how he, he, he he's on the link card. All right, it's, you know he's getting food stamps now. So you gotta remember, you know Jake. Had, they've been, you know, Jake's used to that. That that that's something common in our, uh, within our, you know, our, uh, uh, within our people. Okay, you know they get government assistance, but for these Edomites, that's new. That's rare. But I'll say this: a side note, the majority of the people that are actually on government assistance are actually Edomites. That's just a side note. Okay, but point being though is. A lot of these Edomites, I'll say this in particular, these um, um, these democratic states, okay, that are you know uh, that live in uppity areas, they're they're, they're not used to uh, you know ha having to uh, get government assistance like that, you know, that's far fetched to them. That that comes with the stigma too, man. You know, hey, they, 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 they don't want to talk about that because now they're labeled as what? Poor, low class. All right. See? But let's keep going. Um, 
There's a lot of scriptures here. A lot of scriptures. Where is this? Give me one second. Here we go. This is a... Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. And that's what's happening to Esau. All these curses are, you know, uh, coming to him and they're destroying him. Now they're starting to feel it. They're starting to really, really feel it. Like I said, they, they don't have the nice houses anymore. They're living paycheck to paycheck. They're in debt. They're on government assistance now. Okay? Lord is stripping their uh, uh, their power now. All right, it says, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh thy power to keep his commandments and the statutes which he commanded thee. And that's really towards us Israelites, okay? But remember, as we read in that Deuteronomy 37, these curses are going to fall upon our enemies, right? And I wanted to get this one. Here we go. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And the Lord Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. And, he, and there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord Yahweh shall give thee there a trembling heart, a failing of eyes, and a sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shalt have no assurance of thy life. And that's what these Edomites are starting to feel. They don't know whether they're coming or going. Okay? They're finding really uh, no rest anymore. Hey, terrors are on every side of them. In every aspect, they, they're, 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 they're starting to lose now. Okay? And like I said, we, are, hey, we should be happy. You know, who are in the truth. We are seeing the fall of our enemies. Those that have had reigned over us for how long? Who've mistreated us, who've abused us, okay? Who've, uh, 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 who've profited uh, 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 because of us. So the, we're, we're living in some great times, man. Some great, great times, all right? You see? And I, man, it's just beautiful. Like I said, hearing these stories, like I said, I'm listening to a guy... You know, uh, give his life story basically to me. All right. Tell me his, you know, boo hoo sob story about how he's twenty thousand dollars plus in debt. Cause actually, I'll say this: he's telling me twenty. He's probably more like thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars in debt. You know, got himself a, a what do you say, O eight Jeep Liberty. Can't get a new car. Can't do anything. You know. Got to uh, live off. The, you know, his woman's, uh, you know, he's got to live off of his woman. Basically be a little parasite. <laughs> Other woman about to sell her nice house in, in Lamont. You know, can't go on vacations anymore, can't buy anything. This is beautiful, man. This is beautiful. Okay? All right? But, you know, hey, like I said, hey, the, the Lord... He, He's really putting these curses on our enemies, and we're starting to see the fall of them. And, and, and th th I mean, we're living in great times. And you should not be in a low spirit anymore. What's the point? We're seeing the collapse of Esau's kingdom, man. It's divided. It's falling. Okay, it's not going to stand. The Lord's fighting for us. We just got to continue to to wait upon the Lord. Return unto Him. All right, repent. Hey, be be brotherly. Be charitable. And just keep pushing. Eventually, this, this nightmare is going to end. Okay? This nightmare is about to end very soon. All right? But uh, that's pretty much it. You know, just a quick lesson, you know, straight to the point. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto you. How about Shimei How Shai? Also, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.